Hey, this is Comer back, and today I'm going to do a quick video showing you how you can set up the settings inside of Overwatch to get the best competitive settings, so to speak. So that means higher frame rate, but the crispest and most simple, least distracting image possible on your screen. Now, it's not just me that does this. Many people, particularly professional players across many other games, lots of them being FPS, tend to turn their graphics down in such a way that they can maintain a crisp image, but make it less distracting and more simple as to make it somewhat easier for them to play while increasing the FPS to gain a somewhat competitive advantage. Now in the background I have some video playing. The first clip is of ultra settings. Everything's maxed out as high as it goes. And then the second clip is with pretty much all of the unnecessary graphical settings disabled. So no shadows, no reflections, you know, none of that fancy stuff. Just the bare minimum to get the crispest image possible. So high quality models and, you know, high quality render settings like uh, the stuff with textures too. Those are all set to the max. Now all of that aside, there is one particular setting that has some interesting effects that I need to mention because you may want to change it, you may need to change it. It's called Render Scale, and this is a very similar effect to playing with your resolution. However, I would highly recommend you leave your resolution at your monitor's native resolution so that the UI in the game isn't scaled and the monitor doesn't need to rescale every time you launch the game. So leave that alone and play with Render Scale instead. And essentially, you lower the Render Scale below 100%, the game kind of gets a little bit blurry. Same kind of effect you have when you lower your resolution so if you're running at 4k like me and I set that to 50 basically the game's running at the equivalent to 1080p I can also turn that above hundred percent which I do when I'm playing with the low settings because it makes the game look crisper and it has this nice anti-aliasing effect so that I don't see edges so much anymore Render scale actually has a pretty big impact on performance so if you turn it above hundred you're gonna notice some hefty FPS drops and you've turned it below 100, you're gonna notice a nice FPS increase. So like I said, you might want to turn it up, you might have to turn it down, really depends on your PC. The game actually lets you set it to automatic if you want. When I have it above 100, I go ahead and turn down the FXAA settings since at 150%-ish, the FXAA doesn't make too much of a difference and it does improve performance a little bit if you turn it down. So all that being said, I'm not going to make you go and experiment with the settings or all that. You know, I'm not going to make you go through and change them like I did. I made it simple. I made a couple text files. These are setting files for Overwatch, and you paste them into a certain folder, and it'll change all the graphic settings. And you can actually create multiple ones, and you can switch between them. So I'm going to go and show you how that's done, how you can create your own, how you can switch between them, and just talk a little bit about the settings inside of those. So let me just switch to my screen here. So here we are on my desktop, and if you go to this file path, which is basically your documents folder, then Overwatch, settings, Overwatch, there's a file in here called settings under slash v0. This file contains all of the graphical settings for Overwatch, including some you can't actually modify in the game. And I've created two files here, both of these will be in the description for you to download, and I'll rename them in such a way that it's easier to identify what it is. But the one here that I have just, you know, settings under slash v0. This is the one the game's using and this is the one that's like the lower settings, crisper settings, that sort of thing gives a nice little slight competitive edge as well as a higher frame rate, you know, cause it's less distracting, that sort of stuff. But uh, there's a couple settings in here I had to disable that you can only do in the text file. It's, um, I can't quite remember what it was. Let me see. It was one of these shadow settings you have to set to zero in here. It actually disables the map baked shadows. Uh, so that's that was something cool I found out. And then this other setting uh, settings file here contains everything maxed out as high as it possibly goes. So ultra, ultra. And if I want to swap these, it's a pretty easy process. I just need to rename the one the game's using. So if I put a uh, different number in front of that, and then I take the other one and I rename it, take the three out of it, the game will now be using that file instead. And if you want to modify that file, you, you can either go in and change the numbers yourself, or you can go into the game and start screwing with the settings and everything you're doing there will be saved into that file when you close the game. So pretty simple stuff, you know, really neat way you can swap between files. And the reason I have two here is I have the ultra one for when I'm playing for like recording videos and stuff, and the other one when I'm playing myself and I want to be as competitive as I possibly can be. And so... There's one other thing I want to mention, and this probably won't apply to you if you have an AMD graphics card. I, I, it's probably possible with an AMD card. I just don't know how to do it with an AMD card. I haven't owned AMD uh, for a number of years. 
but if you go to your NVIDIA control panel, then you go to manage 3D settings and add the overwatch.exe in here so you can modify some of the, the driver settings for the game. A couple of things in here you can do to kind of improve your experience just a little bit. And the first one here is pre maximum pre-rendered frames. Set that to one that will decrease the input lag to the game just a little bit. Now you can go and Google exactly what this does. It's a little hard to explain, but uh, that will help the input lag just a little bit. And then the next thing in here, prefer maximum performance for power management mode. This doesn't make much of a difference, but uh, it's just a pre preference thing. You probably don't need to screw with that one. And then these four here are the ones that, uh, that make the most difference here. And basically what they do is they make the textures look a little bit crisper by changing the way the graphics card filters them. So if you just set this to off, clamp, high quality, and off, or antiscopic uh, sample option, negative LED bias quality, and trilinear optimization, Textures will look just a little bit better. It's not a huge difference, but it's nice, and I thought I would mention it in this video because you know we're talking about getting the best crispest image on your screen as possible. And I do this for all of my games, regardless of what settings I'm running at. So that's just a nice tweak you can do there. So that pretty much concludes this video. Thanks for watching. You know how to support me. Go ahead and subscribe. And with that, I'll be signing off.